Welcome back to another episode of Prado 150 out of here. Hey guys, how you going? Welcome to Prado 150 out of here. Just a short video. Uh, if you already know how to do an oil change, it's probably going to be really boring. But for those that don't, just going to show you how you can save yourself a bit of money. So, um, you're paying a mechanic uh, 100 bucks now to do an oil change. We charge about an hour, hour and a half work, depending on the mechanic. Um, now, these Prados, uh, Prado 150, uh, mine's a 2015 model, so they take 7 litres of oil. Okay, you can buy 7 litres at Autobahn um, and an oil filter. So, I'll just show you what I've got. I use Penrite, Penrite oil, 10W40, uh, retailing at $82.99. Okay. I also use a Cooper oil filter and it's uh, WZ418, also changeable with Z418. There we go. So 82 plus, I think these are about 20 bucks, $100 for an oil change, okay, if you do it yourself. It's pretty easy. Um, I'm going to show you how and what size sockets to use. Now first things guys, if you've got some ramps, uh, just gives you a bit of uh, more room underneath to crawl under. Um, if you don't, no big deal. Um, I've had these ramps since I was 17, how about that, eh? Always tell my kids to put them away when they use them, because I have had them for that long. I'm also going to show you uh, where we uh, undo a little, a little plate under there to um, get to the oil sump plug. All right, guys, so um, just uh, that little plate there. Let's see, thing there. So you take that off, and there'll be a sump plug. So we'll get into it and show you how we do it. All right, guys, so um, I've just got a 12 millimeter uh, socket there, so that'll take that plate off, and we'll take that off and we'll get into it. Now, um, I'm also just trying out a new camera. I got myself a new Canon camera so perfect opportunity to uh, test that out because normally I've been using a GoPro now um the other good thing too guys is when you're underneath your car you can have a bit of a look for yourself and just see what's going on there see if there's any damage any oil dripping any of that kind of stuff so yeah I'm just looking up uh, and everything looks to be uh, looks to be okay. Nothing gives you more joy than doing your own stuff to your car. Eh? Anyway, I'm just going to undo these bolts. Okay. Usually, when I take this out, a whole lot of dirt and sand comes out, but uh, not too bad today. So that plate just comes out, just like so, and the sump plug is just sitting in here. So guys, the other thing you need is one of these. Um, you can buy them at Autobahn as well, or super cheap, or any of those uh, places that you... Um... So guys, the sump plug's just um, up here, all right? So I've got a uh, socket size, which you'll need, uh, which is number 14. So we'll just change him out. Um, now, I'm just obviously being fairly basic here. I'm no mechanic or anything, but yeah, just leave all your sockets out uh, nice and neat so uh, when you'll need them again to put it all back together. So as I said, this is a 14, so we're going to undo that. Make sure that's under there. And uh, if your car's been running, obviously be very careful because uh, oil's going to be pretty hot. So, yeah, you don't have to do it too tight. Now and over, down. So ready for the big splash. Make sure that's in line. It's just about to come out. Here we go, beautiful. And there you have it. So just leave that for about 15 minutes. Go away, make a coffee, have a beer, whatever you want to do. Um, and in a moment, I'll show you how to change the filter. So it's just like that. Save yourself 100 bucks. 100 bucks of fuel in a Prado. You get a little bit of fuel. <laughs> Not a lot, but you'll get a bit. Anyway, go towards your next trip. Depending on what the mechanic charges, he might charge you an hour and a half. So, what's that? A hundred bucks 
110 dollars they probably charge you actually 110 plus another uh, 50 or 60 160 bucks plus your oil and filter another hundred so you're looking at about 300 bucks for a, a service and that's probably why most people when they're paying for their services don't want to do these every 5,000 k's um, I do mine every 5,000 k's so we're up to 200,000 now wow she's still going strong uh, guys the other thing you probably need is one of these <laughs> One's looking a bit worse to wear, but yeah, you'll need a rag. So I usually uh, give the sump plug a bit of a wipe off. The other thing to make sure make that uh, oil come out a bit quicker is uh, yeah, just take the filler cap off and uh, releases a bit of air in there. All right, guys. So I don't know if you can see. Um, so on the dry uh, on the passenger side of the car, if you go down under the um, EGR and all that you'll see a blue uh, filter there. So that's the oil filter. Just trying to get it for you in a picture of it. Um, anyway, she's just down there. So um, I've got mine a bit over hand tight. So when I reach down, um, it should come undone. So guys, these, um, they just fit over the top of it, all right? So they fit a Repco. This one in particular fits a Repco and it also fits the Coopers, uh, which is the same. So if you get stuck, you just put your um, socket um, thing in there, and uh, away you go. But... So guys, I've just got that a bit better there. Um, now when you put your hand in, just make sure you don't get yourself on these, because I've done it before. They're pretty sharp, so just be really careful when you're resting up against it. And that's it there. Alright, so um, I'm probably going to have to put the camera down, but I'll see how we go. Now, again, just be careful, because some of this is... Uh, can be pretty hot if you've just run the car. So it's slowly coming. Now before I, generally speaking, it's upside down, so all the oil should be out of it. But sometimes what you can do is just make sure your, um, your uh, what do you call it, thing there that's collecting all the oil is uh, in line and underneath it. So just in case you've got any running out, but I can't remember if I've done it before whether the oil comes out or not, but anyway, I'll find out. So yeah, she's just coming undone there, so that's pretty much a piece of cake, really. So, um, I'm just going to use two hands to get her out. Alright guys, so uh, hopefully you can see me right, I'm just going down here to pull the one out. So, yeah, there's no oil in there. Pretty good, and you just gotta probably use two hands and uh, get him out. So there he is, little one. Um, so yeah, we're gonna replace that. Uh, so as you can see, really isn't that hard now. Um, I'm no mechanic, I'm not qualified in any way, but I've, have, I've gotta say, I have been doing it uh, for a while, the basic oil change. So guys, I'm just gonna put the um, new one on. It's probably a good idea um, that you you put it on when you take it off, um, so you don't forget about it. Because, <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, last thing you want to do is obviously forget about putting an oil filter on, you'll be in a bit of hurt. So what I do is it's out of its packet. Um, they've got a bit of plastic over the top, a bit of protection, so you just take them off there. Um, now, the other important thing to do with these is um, smear some oil around that seal there. So what I do is, I'll show you in a minute, put some oil around there like so and just around all of that, so uh, I'll just do that now. Um, it's pretty basic, just, just put a bit on your on your finger, like that. Smear around, make it more nice and wet, and just put it around there, and even around where the where the thread is, just to um, lube her up, I suppose. And what that does is, again, I'm not a mechanic, but um, it just keeps this nice and moist, and it helps it not to get tight and brittle and um, saves you having problems when you go to take it off for the next change. So guys, it's just in reverse. Um, just be really careful. You don't want to cross thread anything here because of course um, that will cause you plenty of dramas. So just nice and carefully, feed it back through all these pipes. Be careful not to get yourself caught on those little uh, sharp um, clips and that. So down she goes. And um, just back where, you, where it came from, obviously. And you tighten it up. Now, uh, what I do is I just give it a 
get it tight with hand, then I'll give it a bit. So you can see my face. Uh, give it a bit more. It's pretty tight, pretty hand tight. That's all you need, eh? So um, that's another reason why I like to do it myself. So oil food is on. We can tick that box. Don't have to worry about this part of it anymore. Now we'll go down and have a look, see how that oil's going. All right, guys. So um, she's looking pretty good. So as you can see, it doesn't uh, it doesn't feel that up in any way. So you're pretty much safe. And there she is, uh, just dripping down. Now, one question you're probably asking me: Where do I put the oil? So the oil goes back into that container. Seven liters, seven liters goes back. Old oil goes back in that container. Most tips um, have a place where you can tip the oil out basically and take your container back home again on your nice beautiful concrete in your um, garage or wherever you're going to do it is a bit of mat uh, just in case um, you get an oil spill like I just did so I'm not sure where that happened where that came from but anyway so as you can see you just wipe it off it doesn't affect your driveway so I'm just giving the um, sump plug a bit of a clean out um, make sure give it a bit of a check make sure that washes uh, all good so that's that little washer there that I was talking about that black thing so um, I'm happy with that I'm happy to use that again uh, so yeah just a bit of a bit of a clean now I'm not going to do it today but see where it's leaking out of now it, it is a difficult one but uh, what's recommended if you can is somehow get a bit of a light going up in there and inside is a um, I'm lost for words what it's called but it it's like a uh, filter up there that collects any muck that you know might happen uh, inside your oil sump so what you do is shine a torch up there and you pretty much have to get underneath where that hole is okay and have a bit of a look and make sure there's no sludge stuck to it Okay, because uh, that's a, that becomes a, another issue, which uh, yeah, you'll have to consult your mechanic about that. But um, yeah, it's just just have a bit of a look while you got the sump. I've done it before. I'm not going to do it today. And mine's uh, usually all pretty good up. While well, it is all pretty good up there. See this little plug here. <sighs> Make sure you don't drop it in here. I've done that before. I will tell you, that's a bit of a um, a bit of a task to. Um, get that out so anyway guys i'm just gonna i'm happy with that that's just dripping at the moment so um sometimes I just get my little rag up there and just give it a bit of a clean and then uh we just pop the, the sump plug back in there so we just do them up hand tight um yep just uh, make sure we don't cross thread it and there we go so once it's hand tight you just grab that socket and give it a bit of a tight but not too tight so guys i'm just going to get my socket up there and uh, make sure it's going the right way of course make sure there's no dirt on it from the ground and we're just going to tighten him up we're pretty much done an oil change so what i want you to do now is when you've done yours all right i want you to take the hundred bucks that you saved you go and take your missus your girlfriend your partner, whoever, or yourself, out for a meal and go and enjoy that $100. All right? And not to mention uh, the enjoyment of just doing a bit of work on your own car. Get your little rag up there, just wipe it away. And what you're doing by doing that is just making sure that your sump plugs, um, you know, not leaking in any way. So I'll just give it a bit of a, a, bit of a clean. All right, guys, so there we go, she's on, and uh, there's the oil. So you just need to pull your oil out of this working area, otherwise you'll forget about it, and you'll put the car down, or you will knock it over. Definitely don't want seven litres of uh, dirty oil going all over your driveway. Now, with the oil, um, so I went down... Two water bar. I just said, look, I've got a Prado 150, 2015 miles, done 200,000 k's. Uh, what's the best oil? Okay, they look up in their little thing and they go, yep, 
best oil for that is this one. So sometimes I use that, other times I've just used the 1550. Uh, the beauty about Penrite is also they come with this and that helps you um, obviously put oil in the filler cap without it going all over your motor. The other good thing about this is, don't forget to peel your sticker off, right in there how many kilometres that you want, what the Odo is going to be for your next uh, service or your next oil and filter change. There we go, so I've got that off, you just pull that out like so. Um, if you don't use pen rod, you use something else, it might be a different way of doing it. And then, uh, oh man, they do these up tight, eh? Oh, that's a two-handed job too. So yeah, take him off and uh, we'll get some oil in there. Now with that dipstick, um, you can leave him in or out while you're doing it, but obviously um, once I get too close to seven litres, um, I'm going to check in just to make sure. On there, and uh, the camera is in right in the place where I'd normally be. Not much shower up there, is it? Not sure why this one's not working very well. Anyway, so you pour her in. As I said, it's seven litres, so you pretty much just keep pouring until um, it's almost empty. We hope that funnel stays in place. Put all that in. Only because I've done it before, and I know seven litres pretty much is, well, is, is em it empties it, obviously. So, um, but if you're not sure or not confident in that, just check it as you're going. Um, and we just pull this out and have a look. This is your dipstick with oil in it. So that should be um, right on the full mark. So what I'll do is, we'll, um, we we'll that happen when it was not filling up. Just double check it again. It's perfect, so. Um, I'm probably telling you what you already know, but I am trying to keep this as simple, as basic as possible. So when we check our dipstick, we just clean it, obviously, and uh, before we put it back in. Okay, and then you pull it out and check the level. Um, so this one's got little jagged edges uh, up to a certain point uh, with a line. So the oil, the level, needs to be up to that line, okay? And that means it's full. All right, guys, most importantly, don't forget to put this back on. You'll have another mess. <laughs> so that's on tight. Um, and the other thing we've got to do, if you remember at the beginning, we took that little plate off the bottom. All right, so what I'm gonna do, we're gonna go down underneath, we double check that that's some plugs not leaking, and then we're gonna put that plate up, and the job's pretty much done. All right, guys, so, um, apart from it um, being wet and all that, obviously, because we did the change, there's no leaks there, I'm happy with that. So um, we'll put the plate on. So we've got our seven litres, seven litres, so that should um, fill her up. So this is what we're going to do, we're going to pour that in there and we're going to be responsible and get rid of it responsibly. Not pouring your good oil into your old oil, so I'll give that a, I'll give that a proper clean up later on and then we put them away. So uh, there we go. So guys, just the final check um, with the oil level. So as you see, I've just moved it to a level ground. And um, just gonna put a check. 
So what I'm going to do is just uh, wipe it clean and put it back in. Pull her out. Have a look. And perfect. Perfect level. Alright, so you probably can't see from there. I'll see if I can bring it around and show you. Alright guys, so what we're looking at is um, hopefully it's in focus is uh, just here. That's where she is at the end there. So uh, that means she's just on the full mark. And just like I tell my kids when we're working in the shed, working on the cars, um, tidy everything up, uh, keep it all nice and uh, clean everything up and put away your tools. So, um, you know, I don't need to bore you with those details, but that's what I've got to do before I um, park the car up. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I just thought I'd show you how easy it is to save yourself hundred bucks or more uh, doing an oil change. It's as simple as, and if you run into any dramas or see anything that doesn't look right while you're doing it, obviously um, consult your mechanic and uh, yeah, she'll be good for another 5,000 Ks. Well guys, that's the end of another episode of Prado 150 out of here. Hope you enjoyed the video. I know it was fairly basic in relation to doing an oil change. However, if you haven't done that before, it's certainly a way to save some money uh, instead of paying a mechanic to do your oil change. And also by doing that, you can do it every 5,000 Ks.